Hey everybody, just wanted to put a quick little video together uh, showing you how to use a cool tool that uh, I've been using to distribute my videos, but uh, I'll explain that here in a second. Uh, the site is called pixelpipe.com, so we're going to go to pixelpipe.com, uh, www.pixel, P-I-X-E-L, pipe, P-I-P-E, dot com. So go to pixelpipe.com, and again, what it is, it's a video sharing site uh, but more importantly, it actually is for photos, video, audio, text, and uh, any of these type of files. And what it does is, notice what it says here, publish photos, video, audio, text, and files on over a hundred online destinations and counting. So here's what it does. You can take a video, you can upload it to Pixelpipe, and it will automatically publish that video to all the other video uh, sharing websites that they have in their network. So it's really, really cool tool. Um, so instead of having to take your video and upload it on each of these individual video sharing sites, you can actually do it once on Pixelpipe and allow them to distribute. So there is a little bit of a, th a couple things you have to do before you start using Pixelpipe, but it's a fairly quick and easy process. So let me, I wanted to just walk you through that process kind of step by step how I use Pixelpipe. So, uh, the first thing you need to do is just come here to where it says sign up, click on sign up, and create an account. That's it. Name, email, password, so on and so forth, the normal stuff. Click sign up and you've got an account. Once you have created an account, so let me go ahead and sign into my account so you can see what it looks like. Hopefully I got that right. There you go. So here's what it looks like. Uh, when you log into Pixel Pipe, yours is going to look a little bit different than mine because I've got a pending video that I'm uh, that I'm uploading. But again, it's, it's the same concept. Yours will look a little different, but uh, you get the idea. You won't have this section because you haven't uploaded any videos. So, on the left hand side, you're going to have a couple things you're going to look for. There's my pipes. Add pipes and quick posts. Those are the three main things you're going to be using. So, the first one where it says My Pipes, this is going to show you all the pipes, if you will, that you've created. And these are all the different websites that you have an account with. Uh, again, when you first create a Pixel Pipe account, this is going to be empty. You won't have anything in here. But if you go to Add Pipes, it's going to show you all the different websites that they have in their network and what that means is anytime I upload something to Pixelpipe I have the potential of distributing it to any one of these websites now as with any program like this the one downfall is I have to have a username and a password for every single one of these sites so as you can tell that's not going to be very fun uh, to go set that up uh, and that's why, of course, as you know, uh, I didn't do that. I outsourced that. I had somebody else do it for me. I, I think I paid 20 bucks to have somebody go create a username and password for, I think there's 111 websites listed in here. So I had that person go set me up an account. It cost me 20 bucks. And they set this account up, all these accounts for me, same username, same password. Now, once you've done that, once you've done that, step one is creating an account for every single one of these pipes, if you will, or these different w websites. Once you've done that, the next step is you have to come back and you have to click on every single one of these. So if you click on this, um, you'll notice what it does is it says username. And then you're going to put in your new username and click add service. Once you've done that, it's going to go ahead and it's going to show up in this list of your pipes. That's what we've done here. That's how we have an account for every single one is we outsourced having somebody create these accounts. I even outsourced somebody to get into my Pixel Pipe account and uh, click the add pipes and log into each one of these and put in my username and password. But again, yours is going to be a little bit different. When you click on this, it's going to be blank like we saw, well, this 12seconds.tv, it's going to be blank like this. You just put your username and click Add Service. Some of them, and let's see if I can find anyone. Let's click on this one right here, uh, 23. <clears throat> uh, it says, please click here to sign, up, sign into the service and grant us privileges. I've already done that, but you'd click on that, sign into your 23.com uh, account, and it will automatically uh, link the two. So again, step two is once you have an account for all of these different sites, step two is going to come here to add pipes, click on each one of these and input your username and password or do whatever it says. That links pixel pipe to each one of these accounts so that way when you come here to quick post, which is the third step, you can upload your video file or even an image file, create a title, 
create a body, just a description, and tags, and then hit upload, and what it's going to do is it's going to submit it out to all of those websites. Okay, So it's going to take it and submit that video file now to all of the pipes listed in here. And again, not all of these are video pipes. So for example, DocStock right here, this is just supports documents, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to send it out to everything, and then it will tell me, hey, this doesn't support video, so it just wouldn't submit it there. But again, this literally takes, once you have the account set up, this literally takes five minutes, and I can distribute my video to close to 50, I think there's 50 video sites in here, 50 video sites with one submission. Okay, so that's kind of the step-by-step -step how to. Now let me kind of explain the principle or the concept, the marketing concept that I would do behind this. And I'll put that in the blog post as well. But um, what I like to do is, is in one of the previous blog posts that I did, I talked about animoto.com or however you pronounce it. So animoto.com. And it allows you for free to create high quality professional videos. And what I like to do is why not take and create 30 videos because it's a 30 second video clip that allows you to do. Or I think it's $30 per year to have unlimited time. Uh, I highly suggest paying the $30 per year because then you're not locked into 30 second videos. You can do 10 minute videos. I think that's the max it allows you to do. Uh, anyway, so you create these videos and why not create 20, 30, 40, 50 videos all around a specific keyword or keyword phrase. Now remember when we come here to quick post it asks you for, let's wait for that to load, it asks you for a title. So whatever your keyword phrase is that becomes the title and also the tags you're gonna put. So let's say I were gonna create a video on um, the best, well, and the keyword phrase was foam filled beanbag chairs. We'll just use my Mojo Sack website. So the title would become foam filled beanbag chairs. Okay, so that's the keyword phrase I'm trying to focus on. I'd write a little description using that keyword phrase. I'd put that in the tags foam filled beanbag chairs, comma, beanbags, uh, something like that, beanbags. Anyway, you can do other related keywords. I'd upload the video file and hit upload. Now what that's going to do is that's going to submit it out. Oh, by the way, one other thing I forgot to, to mention. Always in your body, always in your description, you're going to start your description with your URL. So it's going to look something like this. HTTP colon slash slash mojosac.com hyphen, okay, and then type in your description. Very, very important. Always make sure you start your description with the HTTP and then your domain name because the video sites will make that a clickable link. So one, it's going to build links back to your website and two, it allows the user who's watching your video to click and easily access your website, which is the whole point. We're trying to drive some traffic here. And as a side note, we're going to build some links, backlinks to our site as well. So anyway, keyword tag or keyword phrase, excuse me, in the title start your description with your URL then type in your description using that same keyword phrase put in your keyword phrase in the tag upload your video and click upload that's going to now take that video and submit it out to 50 video sharing websites all with a link back to your website and the title is going to be what's really important here so when somebody's on that video site like YouTube for example and type in foam filled beanbag chairs well whose video do you think is going to come up well, the one that has the title specifically for what that person searched for. Now, why would I create 20 to 30 of these quick little videos? Well, I'm going to have a video targeting each keyword phrase. Now, I may even uh, not even have to make 20 or 30. I may have the same video with diff just name it differently. So I create the video, name it foam filled beanbag chairs, and then create and then save the video again, but name it something different different keyword phrase. Now if I confused you on that one, don't worry. Go ahead and just create 20 to 30 videos. If you don't want to have to create that many, just create a couple core videos and just keep renaming them but re-uploading them with different names of the videos. You can't keep re-uploading it with the same name of the file, but if you change the file name, you can upload the same video with a different title description and tags. Anyway, that's just a little secret that I do is I don't always create 30 videos. I'll create the same video, just name it something different every single time. And when I mean name it, I'm not talking about the title. I'm talking about the file name 
and of course the, the title will match the file name as well. So we click upload and then what the, what this is going to do is it's going to cast a broad net and allow you to drive more traffic to your website. So again the idea is to put all these videos, you know, 20, 30 videos all targeting these keywords out onto these 50 different video sharing sites and it doesn't matter where people are going, any video site they go to and type in foam fill beanbag chairs, there's going to be a video, uh, our mojo sack video there and we just create a bunch of these for any of the keywords words that we're trying to target for our website. So it's just a cool little uh, uh, technique that we use to drive traffic to our website. It is free. Pixel Pipe is free. Animoto is free. Uh, again, unless you do the $30 a year, which I highly suggest, but uh, $30 and you drive, uh, you can drive a, a a uh, truckload, I was going to say something else, <laughs> a truckload of, of traffic to your website. And again, it's all free. So hopefully this is a helpful uh, tip, helpful video, and I'll see you on the next one.